Hey guys, George here from MyNaturalHerniaCure.com and in this video I want to talk to you guys about the single worst thing that you could possibly do for a hernia. So if you don't know who I am, my name is George Hurst. I put this content together for you guys because when I was going through this, when I was trying to heal my hernia naturally, when I was doing research, there was absolutely no information out there at all about any other option other than surgery so i just i'm just trying to put these videos out there to basically add to the pool of knowledge about the subject of healing a hernia naturally which can be done if you don't know my story i started out with a hernia the size of two golf balls together in the inguinal canal and i was able to get that hernia to go away completely i have no symptoms no pressure nothing I, I put these videos out there to just get the information out there for you guys to make a better decision on whether you want to get surgery or try and take the natural route the way that i did so the single worst thing that you could possibly do for your hernia is to wear a hernia belt that has a huge protruding pad like this one most hernia belts if you go to the drugstore or whatever and you pick up a generic hernia belt on amazon or whatever wherever you get it it's most of them are going to have this hard pad with this convex shape. I guess they designed this so that the convex part actually goes against your hernia and it's supposed to basically push the hernia back in and fill the void where the hernia is coming out from like a plug. But it causes a lot of ir irritation and discomfort because the pad is so hard and so thick and it, and you need so much pressure on it to push against your uh, against the hernia to push it back in that it actually causes a lot of discomfort and pain. And it'll actually make the whole area of your hernia really, really sore after wearing it for, for me, it, it was after an hour, I couldn't wear it anymore. Uh, this is actually the, the type of belt that I wore. This was the like the first type that I bought um, to try and manage my hernia with. And I literally couldn't wear it for more than an hour. I had to actually take this this pad and I and use a sander to sand it down flat just so that I could wear it for more than an hour because it was incredibly painful. So um, there's other types of hernia belts out there too. Most of them, you know, like this one, this is the same thing. Even though it has a nice soft coating on the outside of it, the pad itself is really hard and it's got that same convex shape. So it's going to push into the hernia with all that pressure that you're going to, you know, you're going to strap it on and, it's, and you're going to push it against the hernia. And it's just going to irritate the hell out of the out of the spot where the hernia is coming out of. It's incredibly uncomfortable most of the time for, for most people. And definitely for me, it was I couldn't wear this, which leads to why I developed my own hernia belt. If you know my story, you know that I developed the Comfort Trust and uh, because I couldn't find another hernia belt that worked for me. Um, but the the beauty about it is that the Comfort Trust has a <coughs> a, a flat pad on the inside of it. It's soft and, and it's flexible, but it's not so soft that it's not gonna give you any support. So it actually, it moves with your body really well. The flat pad is really nice and supportive against the hernia without digging in the way that, that those bulbous pads with the convex shape are digging into the hernia all the time. So, um, you know, the Comfort Trust, it, it, it worked great for me. It works for most people that use it. You know, I'm not saying that you have to buy mine, but if I were doing it all over again, if I knew what I knew now, then I would have not even bought any uh, hernia belts with those convex shaped pads. And I would have looked for a hernia belt that has a flat pad that's not made with a super hard material that's nice and flexible and that, that moves with your body. So that's what I would consider the single worst thing you could possibly do for your hernia is to wear a hernia belt with that huge convex pad that's digging into the hernia causing all kinds of irritation and swelling and soreness. Get, get yourself something with a nice flat pad, nice flexible, something that puts enough pressure on the hernia to hold it in, but doesn't actually stick into the hole where the hernia is coming out of and cause irritation. So if you get anything out of this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you got any comments or questions, hit me up down below, uh, all that. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. All that'll help other people find my videos easier in the future. And, uh, Look forward to the next video. All right, guys, take it easy.